In our last safety episode, we talked about some general aspects of tool safety. In this chapter, we're going to go over some safety aspects of the hand tools listed here. We'll look at power tools later. We only have a couple of minutes, so we'll just go over some basic tips. Most of this info is common sense, but some reminders can't hurt. Wrenches. The most common hazard with wrenches is that because the wrench is not the right type or size, or is not well tightened onto a nut, it will slip off and you will bang your knuckles. Or worse, you make the mistake of pulling on a wrench that is aimed at your face. For a stuck nut, you have more power and control by pulling rather than pushing, but aim away from your head. If you need force to tighten or loosen a nut, use a longer wrench to get more torque. With adjustable wrenches, position it such that you're pulling against the fixed side of the wrench, not the adjustable side. That side is sturdier and less liable to slip off. Also, note that pliers should not be used instead of a wrench with nuts. Pliers are for bending things and may strip the head off a nut. Screwdrivers are a simple tool, but like all tools, they come in different shapes and sizes. Flathead screwdrivers, Phillips, etc. Try to match the screwdriver to the job. Ask the staff if you're unsure. A screwdriver should not be used as a pry bar or as a chisel. They're not designed for that and may break into pieces. When driving a screw, never hold the piece of work in one hand while screwing with the other. If it slips off, ouch. Instead, secure the piece of work in a vise or clamp. Hammers. The obvious hazard is bashing your fingers. All we can say is be careful and use nails that are the right size for the job. Gloves are not a good idea because you lose dexterity while trying to hold a nail and a work glove offers little protection from a hammer blow. Safety glasses are needed. Hand saws. The obvious hazard is sawing into your hand. It's a good idea to wear work gloves to protect yourself from cuts and of course wear those glasses. But most importantly, secure your piece of work in a vise or clamp. This keeps it steady to get a clean cut and your hands are out of the way. Okay, so that's the basics, but remember that there may be unique aspects to a particular style of tool you might use, so don't be afraid to ask questions. Thanks for listening!